I feel like there's also a third coming. We're headed to Vegas, right? Like we have to do that. I mean, no, no, no. What was what was your who, who suggested? Where are we going? Bora Bora. Bora Bora. Bora, Bora. <laughs> well, the moms go. Maybe the, our moms go to Vegas. We go to Bora Bora. I don't know. And it's like we want a, a tropical it's like a vacation. vacation off. <laughs> I mean, I just thought of that, but someone should write it down. Planning like a, a vacation, vacation is is like no joke. No, but it actually would be really funny. A vacation. It's a new vacation. I mean, because you're right. Being a parent and trying to plan for vacation and, no, and actually relax on vacation yeah. is impossible because yeah. you're constantly making sure kids. all the kids are somewhere visible and away from water. Yeah, and away from so water. So I feel like, and, and to shift gears just a bit, I feel like you you all are are mothers. There's a shift happening not just in our industry but in society, right? Mm -hmm. um, where women are really stepping into the power they've always had and being recognized now, though, for it as well. What do you hope, I mean, with, with some of the things that are going on now, what do you hope your children, the world they get to grow up in, because it will be different than the one that we grew up in, right? Yep. What do you hope for them? What's your, your, your dream for them as they, they grow up a little? Oh my God, what a loaded question. Be, I just want them to be their authentic selves, mm -hmm. like whatever that is, just their, I, it just, I just want them to be exactly who they are and not have to feel like they have to be anything else or not allowed to be who they, whatever that means. I just want them to feel authentic. Yeah. That's a great answer because also like some people are more stereotypical and like I, I feel very empowered when I'm domesticated. Like when I like, like do clean my kitchen and everybody's napping and I clean my kitchen and do my laundry, that's awesome. But for some women or men, that does not feel great. So it's like be your authentic self like in this age of equality and women having power, like no, you can have that power. You could also be a stay at home mom. You could be yeah, a career yeah, yeah. mom. You can, you can do any of them. There is no category you have to fit into. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have to agree with this. I think to add to that with my daughter, I would tell my, but like boys and girls are just girls. Because with my daughter, I don't, I want her to be okay to be feminine. And I say this because I do believe that there's like now this whole empowerment thing of like, I, I, you know, I can do everything myself. And I said, to your point of like, I love cooking. Like to me, cooking's not a chore. I enjoy it. I also run my own business, but I do like my husband opening the car door for me. I like to be treated as an equal, but I still like their, like, but that's just me. And I want my kids to know it's okay to be who they are. So whatever version of that whatever that it that, is, oh, I don't want them safe. to feel like they have to be something that society puts pressure on, whether it's positive or negative, because yeah. I feel like it goes both ways now, where like, if you like, if you're a stay-at-home mom, people are like, oh, you don't work. Right. And that, I think that that's like, it's a luxury if you're a stay-at-home mom. Like, it's a beautiful thing, if you love it. If you want to go to work, I think that that's great too. I think that there's like it, it goes Just both more ways. More acceptance. Yeah, like, more. Yeah. I want my kids Enough to be judgment. okay. I want judgment not to exist when our kids are adults. Well, yeah. Well.